Just like so many people that uh, have suffered from addiction, uh, it's the underlying issues, those adverse childhood experiences and, you know, coming from a divorced parent and having abuse happen in my life, you know, I um, said yes to drugs when I should have said no. My best friend introduced me to drugs and, you know, I had no idea where it was going to take me and I knew I had a problem with uh, drugs when I'd lost my business, my home, everything I had, my entire life spiraled out of control. I found myself in New Jersey completely hooked on cocaine and heroin, an out of control uh, intravenous uh, IV user, and um, in a gang, uh, my entire life out of control. I could have um, left addiction by asking for help. And I just didn't think I had a problem. I knew that I, uh, you know, had issues with drugs. I knew that I uh, had a daily obsession that I couldn't escape, uh, but I just didn't ask for help. I'm not okay with what addiction did to my family, did to my, uh, my mother especially, and did to the people in my life. I hurt a lot of people. And I'll, um, live with that for the rest of my life, but what I wanted to do was um, not only share my recovery, but travel across America and capture stories of recovery. Across America, Road to Recovery, we're meeting people who have embraced it, meeting people who have found a new life, found a new way of life, and I wanted to share these stories with you so you can grab onto that hope and that inspiration of other people. Recovery is a life beyond your wildest dreams and if I can recover, you can recover. If I can find this hope and inspiration from other people and the people that I'm meeting, my God, you can too.